per po Pokemon Tag Team GX All Stars. Uh, box is really. Uh, let's go. What is up, my co card collectors? We have a very special opening today a Tag Team GX All Stars Japanese booster box. And it looks spicy. Let's go. Guys, please, if you enjoy the content, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, sacrifice your child to Satan, and hit that bell just so you know when the next video is out. And if you don't do it within the next 30 seconds, Grogu's gonna get it. First, a quick shout out to the Pokey Ghost for sending these additional add-ons when I purchase the the pack. So thank you very much for that, the Pokey Ghost. And without further ado, let's go. Maybe. Very cool opening once again, similar to the the EV Heroes. Super cute. Uh, doesn't really. I'm just gonna hold it up like that. There we go. Maybe close enough. First pack. Now, I don't know the layout of these packs, so uh, bear with me. Very cool. Well, um, we got the Meow Stick straight off the bat. Very cute looking. Second Evolution. Tora Cat, I believe. I, I know I know Litten um, and then Incineroar, but I just I never paid attention to the second second evolution. Very very cute little uh, cottony. Looks like a giant above a bunch of a bunch of trees in the background. Oh, and we have the Septile evolution of uh, Trico. The Adventure Bag, one of the trainer cards, followed by Mount Coronet. Oh, and we have a Hollow Mewtwo to start off our Hollows. Damn, that looks that looks great. That's a that's a good first opening, guys. <clears throat> all right, all right. Is that a Kartana? That's a Kartana, right? Ooh. Very nice, very nice Kartana. Kartana? Kartana. Oh, we have the Machamp and a uh, Mars Shadow as our first Tag Team GX. That looks dope. I, I love the, the little fists coming out from Mars Shadow. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's spicy. Ooh! And we have a Hollow Energy. Very nice. Oh, and we have a uh, Skip Loom and Jump Luff. Hollow as well. Reverse Hollow, sorry. I like that. So it looks like there's roughly five five hollows or rares of the pack, I guess. So I have a cute little Blitzel to begin with, followed oh, by the reverse hollow that we just got, but in the normal form. Little Cleffer poking his tongue out, doing a little cute anime pose. I like it. And a little Swablu toy and an Oddish pot plant. That's... That's adorable. We have a whimsy cot for our next card. Another energy. We have a sight seer 
sights here. Oh, we have a hollow mel metal. Uh, the hollow mel metals always look good. I don't know why. I, I'm also biased because I think mel metals are really cool. So that's just me though. Uh, we have we have a weevil hollow. Oh, the only part of the card that's hollow is actually this bit here. And obviously the border, but it's a bit different. I haven't seen it like that before. Oh, gee, damn. <clears throat> we have a Dark Cry and an Umbreon. Tag Team GX Secret. Holy crap. Uh, sorry. That's awesome look at that i oh whoa what a good card damn guys i'm shaking hyped we have another hollow energy and a reverse hollow magneton that was a good pack guys i'm excited i'm excited to open more Ah, uh, we have a Ordino? Ordino. For our first one of this lot. Vo uh, Volpix. War Turtle. That's cool. I like that card. That's uh, Erica. Erica, yeah, I think it's like Erica's Hospitality or something. We have a Parasect just uh, hiding in a little cave. We have Mina. Uh, not really sure what she's doing. Oh, we have a Mars Shadow Hollow. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I, I wish they uh, made the Pokemon more hollow, but the effects behind, that's okay. Then we have a Landris Hollow as well. Looks like he's popping out of the card. That's very cool. Oh! Damn, guys. We are having a pretty good opening. That's the Blacephalon, right? I believe. Blacephalon? Blacephalon? Damn. That one's nice. I like the um, the hollow effect in that one. Looks a bit like the, the lightning that's behind it. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, see, look, the, the lightning strike there. Damn, that's awesome. That's awesome, guys. And we have another Hollow Energy. And then we have the Reverse uh, reverse Hollow Vulpix. Very cool. Don't forget the cool backs. Definitely, definitely better than the norm. We have a EV to start off, followed by an Inke. Inke. An Alolan Diglett, uh, just because he's going to get that mad hairdo. Personally, I uh, don't don't really like the change for the Alolan Diglett, but that's okay. Uh, we have a Fabar, Fabar, Fabar. Uh, then a uh, that's the U-turn board, yeah. Followed by Blitzel's Evolution, Zeb Striker. Very original, very original name. Oh, and then we have a Porygon Z. Very nice. I like that hollow. Then we have a Jumpluff. Hollow. Very cute. Oh, yeah. We got the Wishy Washy, guys. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sad. Look at me. Wishy Washy is such a cool Pokemon. Just because he's so sad. I mean, cries all the time. It reminds me of myself. Then we have the uh, energy again. And then we have uh, Erica's Hospitality, but Reverse Hollow. We have a Litten to start us off, followed by a Natu. Kangas Khan. Little, little baby. 
We have, uh, that's Giovanni's Exile. Then we have a Netball. Not to be confused with the Sport, uh, because this is better. Then we have a Salazzle. And we have a Hollow Spirit Tomb coming in for our first Hollow of the Pack. Spirit Tomb looks fairly cool as a Pokemon concept, but I, I don't know why. I just I don't like it as much as some of the some of the other. Then we have uh, Negandel, Negandel, Negan, Negandel, Negandel. Yep, looks just like a Mecha Beedrill. Oh yeah, hell yeah, guys! We have the uh, Zera Aura uh, Full Art GX. That's dope. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, guys. We have the Fighting Energy uh, Holo. And the Reverse. We have the Reverse Holo Stack Attack. Uh, st stack it, stack it, stack it. Yep. Ah, let's go. Hell yeah, we got a little Squirtle to start off with a Rays of Sunshine behind him because he's the cutest Pokemon. Well, not the cutest. Bulbasaur's well, better, but he's pretty cute. He's up there. Magneton, not the reverse hollow this time. We have a Sneasel, just chilling in the forest, looking like he's uh, sneaking around, about to cause some mischief. We have Counter Gain, followed by Deantha. Deantha? De Deantha. A Mimikyu. Little toy, looking cute. We have a Victini. Holo. Hell yeah. That's cool. I um, I really like Victini. I haven't used Victini very, very much myself, but I do, I do like the Pokemon. Well, the look of the Pokemon anyway. Uh, we have, <laughs> yep. Uh, st stick, stack it, top. Yep. Uh, yeah, same Pokemon, uh, except not the reverse Holo this time. I'm good at pronunciation. Let's go. Let's go. We have the Ultra. Necro Necrozma, right? Ultra Necrozma. Hell yeah! That looks mint. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, that's dope. That's a that's a really cool um, fairy energy, guys. I'm I quite like that a lot. That is, well, it's not a Pokemon, but that's probably one of my favorite hollows so far. God damn. Also one of the secrets. And we have a karate belt uh, reverse holo. Not that it looks very holo. We start things off with a picky peck. A very original name. Followed by a Tyrogue, which um, <clears throat> I seem to hatch quite a lot of in Pokemon Go, but I can never get to evolve into a hit on top. No matter what I do. Obviously, you need the flat stats, but I just can't get it. I, I don't know why. Little Paris. Very cute. Now he's uh, protecting his, his brothers and sisters. That didn't turn into him. We have a Professor Elm's uh, lecture. Holm Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. Totodile is the best from this generation, 100%. And we have a Lost Blender. Yep, what a name. We have Green's Exploration. I uh, really would like Red's Challenge possible from this set, but um, we'll see what happens. We have a Magnazone Holo to begin. Let's go. Not my favorite Holo, but not too bad. Ooh. We have a Zorok. That that holo effect around his um, attack looks really cool. I like it. Oh, we have a Melmetal Lucario GX Tag Team. Very happy with that. Very happy because Melmetal is just a dope Pokemon and Lucario is just cool as well. We have another Hollow Energy. 
And we have the reverse hollow electromagnetic radar. Starting strong with a Porygon. Little Magnemite being super cute to follow. Then we have the Salandit. Salandit. And we have a dope Incineroar. Who shoots uh, his firepower from his crotch. What a mad lad. Then we have the last card in the set. Uh, yep. Except for the secrets. Uh, recycle energy. And a spell tag before our first holo being. Oh yes! We got a holo Mew. I love getting uh, any Mews in general, but the holo Mews uh, especially, because they're just such a good, such a good holo. And Mews are just the best Pokemon. Well, not the best, Bulbasaur is obviously the best, but one of the best Pokemon that you can get, in, in my opinion. Then we have a holo Absol. I didn't realize that, that Absol was actually in the set, so that's a, not a bad surprise. Oh yeah! One of my favorite final evolutions from the starters, Grovile, we got him in the full GX form. That's awesome. Followed by another energy holo. And a reverse hollow nine tails. We have a Porygon 2 to finish off the Porygon evolution line. We have a Jolteon looking hella speedy. And we have the Trico to finish off the Trico evolutionary line, which is awesome. And another uh, another Nine Tails, unfortunately not for not a Hollow. Then we have a Giant Hearth. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a Giant Hearth. Then we have Misty and Lorelei. We have a Hollow Volcanion. No, not not especially my favourite, but not not a bad Hollow. <clears throat> oh yeah. Hell yeah, guys. We have a Ditto Prism. That's awesome. Followed by... Oh, yes! Oh, I was hoping to get uh, the GX tag team of Mew and Mewtwo. Personally hoping for the secret rare of it, but um, this one will suffice. Hell yeah, that looks awesome. God damn, I'm happy. Oh, guys, this has been such a good opening. God damn, look at that. Oh, hell yeah, guys. And then the hollow energy to follow and the electro power reverse hollow. We have a Esper to begin. Just having a nap, enjoying life. It's what I think everyone should do. Just have a nap and enjoy life sometimes. A Glam Meow sitting there playing with her. Uh, I can never remember the name. Uh, the Evolution of Finian. We have a Hoppip, meaning we have completed the evolution tree for these as well. A Persian looking uh, muscly as heck. Look at those shoulders, damn. You wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to take that Persian in a fight. Then we have a Cherish Ball to follow up. And our first holo. That is not yet. I tricked you guys. Uh, Belelba and Bryson Man. Belelba? Hmm. And our first holo. Oh, <laughs> Jirachi. Oh. That's awesome. Such a cool Pokemon. I'm so glad I got that. And we have a Zapdos to follow. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, oh, what a good tag team GX art to end on. God damn. We have Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Let's go. Hot oh, damn, guys. That's awesome. Oh, whew, my heart's just racing. Then we have the Hollow Energy, and to finish off, oh, we have a Reverse Articuno. Dope. Whew, what a video, guys. Damn. We got some good pulls. Woo. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Well, that was fun, guys. I had such a good time opening that box. I would recommend getting one to any person who loves Pokemon. And we have a couple more videos coming soon. We have some D&D, Magic, Adventure of the Forgotten Realms, booster boxes, set boosters, collector boosters, and the pre-release packs coming soon. So if you're interested in those, keep an eye out. I'm excited because I love D&D, I love Magic, and just the combination of both has got me aroused. More excited than I can I can say. And once again, thank you for coming along in this video and watching with me. And if you're interested in more content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and just comment down below if you've pulled any good cards yourself, and if you want to see anything on, on my channel. I have some more uh, videos coming as well, which are some gaming ones, which should hopefully be up in the next week, fingers crossed, depending on how uh, the recordings go. So if you're interested, keep an eye out. And a fact before you go, you cannot die of old age. You can only die of diseases that old age brings. Thanks for watching. Peace.